je m'appelle euh, Traoré Oula, le docteur Traoré Oula. My name is Dr. Oula Traoré and I do research with cotton, conventional cotton, transgenic or if you will BT cotton, but also organic cotton. So it's research into everything about cotton. We have been working with conventional cotton for a good number of years now. And it's true that we have some varieties that are productive. But we also have to use a lot of pesticide first to treat the seed, then to protect the plants until they are virtually mature. But you know, these insecticide products have their limits. So we said to ourselves, maybe there's an alternative, and that is to try to see what transgenic or BT could give us. And the experiments are intended with transgenic cotton to see what the advantages are is to see if there is some other alternative to battling the various pests chemically. When we began in 2003, we were trying to see if the BT gene is effective on the cultivation conditions in terms of Burkina Faso. But then we said, hold on, it's fine to look at the effectiveness, but you know in our country, the byproducts, the seeds are used. You have the oil that is used. You have the oil cakes that are used by animals. But even the seed is used to make sauces and cakes for human consumption. So we had to look at toxicity. Then there's the matter of the gene flow. So we had to study that. We also work on the secondary factors. Entomologists did all this work to show that we have an insect population that is diversified in the BT cotton plots. So you see, we began with the effectiveness of the gene and we studied the environment, the concerns of human and animal health to be able to get the answers to give to the producers, to the cotton companies, to the decision makers, to the industry, to society at large, and to people worried about the possible negative effect. So I think here we have the information that will enable us to make a decision, to reach the right decision. Already you can see the importance of biotechnology, clearly in West Africa. Biotechnology has an advantage. They are trying to introduce a gene into varieties of corn that will resist drought for a long time. That could be a major advantage in our countries. But for cotton itself, you can save on insecticides. At present, the cost of insecticide treatment means that often we can't be competitive internationally. I'm interested in giving the best possible information to the producer. And it's not in the interest of others, but in my own interest as a scientist. It's in the interest of the country, in the interest of the producers, because I myself, I am the son of a producer, to convey to them the right information.